docking is one of the most frequently used tools for structure-based in silico drug discovery. During docking, a series of ligands are virtually docked into the binding site of the receptor, while the best orientation and conformations are predicted using search algorithms and scoring functions. CharmGUI Ligand Docker supports four different docking programs, namely AutoDock Vena, Smina, RxDock, and DiffDock. More information about each docking program is available through the corresponding links on the Ligand Docker intro page. Additionally, Ligand Docker facilitates the quick transfer of docked conformations of ligand receptor complexes to the CharmGUI high throughput simulator. This allows users to generate molecular dynamics simulation inputs for multiple docking results simultaneously. This video will demonstrate the general functionality of the Ligand Docker module in CharmGUI. The protein structure we will use is dihydrofolate reductase. To begin, go to Ligand Docker, type in the PDB ID 1RX2, and click Next. We want to include the protein and both the FOL and NAP ligands, then click Next. If we want to modify the protein structure, this is where we would do it. To learn how to use the structure manipulation options, please refer to the video demos for PDB Reader and Manipulator. In this case, we will go with the default settings and click Next to generate a CHARM-compatible PDB file. Once done, you should view the structure to ensure that it has been read correctly. Before docking, we need to define a binding site location, grid size, and resolution. Note that the cubic grid shown will be used for Vena and Smina, while RxDoc uses a spherical grid that contains the displayed cubic grid. For DiffDoc, no local docking is available, so it will perform a blind, global docking. We offer five different ways for users to define a binding site for ligand docking. The first is to select the ligand crystal and center the grid on the ligand. The second is to select user-defined amino acid residues as the binding site, which is useful if the protein structure does not contain a bound ligand. The third option is to select a single amino acid residue and define a radius around it. The fourth option is to predict a binding site using the VizGrid software, where the users can select the predefined binding site for ligand docking. The final option is blind docking, a global docking using all available spaces as potential binding sites. In our case, we choose the first option around the ligand FOL. Important residues can be made flexible during docking to account for induced fit effects. All residues within the grid are highlighted, and any of these can be chosen as flexible. Note that this flexible residue feature applies only to Vena and Smina. Finally, we inspect the resulting grid and click Next. If we want to dock additional ligands, or if our protein structure doesn't contain any ligands, we can upload files describing the ligands in SDF format. Note that we limit the number of docking ligands in CharmGUI to 10. Here, we upload two additional ligands and click Next. On this page, we can edit the structure of the cofactors or ligands using the 2D MarvinJS sketchpad. Please refer to the video demos for QMMM Interfacer or NCDocker for a detailed explanation of this feature. We will proceed with the unmodified ligands and cofactor. We tick the NAP box to serve as a cofactor and remove it from the list of ligands to be docked, leaving HET B, which is the drug to be self docked. We select all of the docking packages and click Next. Here, the docking results are shown along with the scores from the docking packages. We note the rank of each binding mode with the package based on its score for the user. When you select each result, the binding mode will be displayed. There is a search bar at the top of the result table, where you can search using a combination of keywords from the table entries. For example, typing diffdoc will filter results from diffdoc only, while typing the ligand name hetb will filter results for that ligand only. You can also combine keywords with spaces as delimiters. For example, Vena rank 01 het B will filter results for the ligand het B and show only the best binding modes from Vena. You can select some or all of the docked complexes to transfer to high throughput simulator to generate MD inputs for all docked complexes at once. Here we select the best mode of each complex from each package and click next. Soon we arrive at HTS, where the user needs to select whether the system type is solution or membrane. It will automatically direct you to the next page, showing all the docked complexes you selected. From here, please refer to the high throughput simulator video demo. If you encounter any difficulties using Ligand Docker or HTS, you can ask questions on the CharmGUI forum.